This is Jane Stokey, WorldSkills International Te Technical Director here in Rio de Janeiro at the WorldSkills Americas competition. With me I've got Michael Hurahan, the Chief Expert for Electrical Installations. He's here in an, in an advisory role and is going to tell us a little bit about the competition and his experiences. Michael, how's the competition been for you? It's been very good, very interesting, Jane, actually. Um, it's uh, quite a learning curve to be in a situation where we have the language problem and not someone else, because at World Skills, as you know, we do all our business through English. And now I find myself in a situation where all the business is done through Portuguese, and so I'm the one at a disadvantage. So I think that's going to be very useful to me when I move on to other World Skills competitions. Uh, I'll understand the language problem and the language barrier. Uh, and it, it, it'll be easier for me to manage the competitions in the future. Yes, a very valuable experience. Michael, what's the infrastructure like, the materials and equipment in comparison to uh, an international competition? Well, like all competitions, there were problems with the materials, but nothing that we haven't come across before. Um, always issues when uh, we go to other countries, hard to understand the um, technical issues with those materials. Here, same problems, some materials were missing, uh, there was issues getting the materials on time. But as I say, that's nothing unusual in competitions and it's something that we have to work with as experts and something the comp competitors have to come to terms with. So apart from the positive experience learning about the, the language situation and, and being on the other side of the fence, if you like, what, what's another positive that you can take back to running the international competition? Um, well, I think it's, um, it has been a very, very useful experience uh, from the point of view of um, dealing with experts who have no experience at competitions. There was uh, probably um, 20 of the 23 individuals, experts that I was dealing with, had no competition experience, no international competition experience. And as experts and chief experts, we have to take account of that when we deal and run our competitions and we have to accept that these people need to learn how the competition works and give them time to do that learning. That's terrific. Thanks Michael. This has been Jane at WorldSkills TV reporting from Rio de Janeiro.